Using track changes is especially helpful when you need to collaborate with others while drafting a Word document. In effect, track changes will keep a record of all the modifications you make inside a Word document, whether you type new text, delete existing text, move text around, or apply different formats. Here I'm going to use a preliminary draft of one of my assignments from my property law class during my first year of law school. First, I'll enable track changes by navigating to the Review tab, finding the Tracking group, and clicking on the Track Changes command. You can think about all the work I do from here on out as provisional changes that I have not yet committed to. Now, as I read this document, I can preserve the current content even as I make revisions. The second sentence in the original document is differing policy objectives occasion the delegation of varying amounts and types of decision-making power to private actors. The sentence isn't very clear, but I wrote this over 10 years ago and it didn't make the final draft of my paper, so I won't beat myself up over it. Let's see if I can express this idea more clearly now. I've changed the sentence to it as policy objectives that enable and constrain the way private actors can make decisions about private property. I still don't like this, so let me try again. Now I have policy objectives enable private actors to exercise power in different ways. I like this much better because the rest of the piece will examine the consequences of various decisions about public policy. Notice that my first revision is lost because it was more of a temporary consideration, but my second revision persists since it is the text that I will keep for now. I'm also going to change the line spacing of this text from 1.5 to 2.0. When working in track changes mode, the interface becomes cluttered with extra information that may be distracting to you as you continue to write. If you would like to remain in track changes mode, but see your work in a more traditional way, on the review tab, tracking group, change all markup to no markup, which will show you the most up-to-date version of the document, even though the changes have not yet been formally accepted. I'm going to leave all markup on for now. Obviously I had to write papers independently during law school, but if this were a different context, I might save the document and send it to a colleague. If they continued to edit the document in track changes mode, their name would appear beside any changes they made. When we finished editing the document, either one of us could review the changes and decide whether to accept or reject each one. I prefer to disable track changes mode before working on this step. To get started, I'll click on the next command in the changes group. My first change becomes highlighted and I can choose whether to accept it or reject it. I already know I like the change I made to the second sentence, so I'll accept it. I'll click Next again to carry on. Let's imagine that for whatever unknown reason, one and a half line spacing was better than double line spacing, so I'll reject the change that I made. Track changes mode takes a little getting used to, but it can be a valuable tool because it helps to preserve evidence of your thought process as you work before you finalize your document. 